your sugar, babe I guess high off your love, I don't know how to behave <laughs> What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, we're doing an entrepreneur video. Basically, I have an event coming up. It's um the Love and Soul, I think it's called Love and Soul Experience. Let me see love and soul family festival that's what it is and it is at the tanger outlets in pooler georgia so if you're around the savannah area or pooler georgia area be sure to come out to the love and soul family festival it's june 4th that saturday first saturday in june so um i'm just preparing for that and i want to give you guys tips for a pop-up shop or tips for events in general i've only done a pop-up shop once and i wasn't as confident in my brand as i am now i wasn't as outspoken as i am now i'm still not too outspoken just because I'm more of a chill, quiet person. But honestly, if you wanna get your brand out there, you have to open up and just go for it. So I'm just gonna give you guys some tips for events, um, things that you can do to prepare, how you can get the most out of that event for your company. So while also giving you guys tips, I'm gonna be getting ready myself. So I'm about to see what inventory I have, what I can create and what I can sell that day because I don't want to spend too much money here. Like this is going to be an event to make money and I don't want to spend too much money preparing for the event. So the first thing I'm going to do is just check all the inventory I have and then we'll go from there. Okay, so before I get started, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys tip number one. Tip number one would be to set your goals for the event based on your company needs. Now for me, my goal for the event is to gain emails, gain phone numbers, and get my product out there. That's the that's the goal. Of course, the goal is also to make money, but one of my primary goals is to get the name out there, collect emails, and collect phone numbers. This way, when I start communicating with people, they will get that information as well. And also connect people with our social medias. This is just, for me, more of an awareness thing rather than sales. Although I do wanna make sales and I do have a sales goal, the sales goal would honestly probably be, I'd say a thousand. And I think that's more of an attainable goal. And of course, if we reach more, that's awesome. Set your goals for the event based on your company needs. Everybody doesn't need the same thing right now. If Nike was there, Nike doesn't have the same goals as I. Nike probably strictly wants to make money. That's it. But for me, I'm building a clothing brand, so I want to build awareness, if that makes sense. So that's tip number one. Let's get into the inventory that I have. I just want to figure out what's in these boxes what can I do? What can I create to sell and market to the customers so that they can have my brand, get my brand out there, right? So let's figure out what's in these boxes. I'm going to start with this box because I'm sure it's just like hats and stuff, randomness. I'm going to talk about why this hat wouldn't be the best for this event in a second. But I'm probably still going to bring it, you know, you never know. In business, I swear, you learn a lot over time. You're going to make mistakes. It, it's all a learning process, the whole journey. So, my boyfriend helped me realize that I was using two separate hat brands. And one of the hat brands that I was using, the hat is like so small. Because he thought his hat that he always wears shrunk, but it didn't shrink. It just was a different hat brand. And now I'm just like, wow, the one that I was using, it just runs small. So that's not good. Like he has a large head, no shade, <laughs> but he has a large head. So if the hat fits his head and also mine, cause I have a little piece size head, then that's good. That means it'll fit the majority. But if the hat isn't fitting his head, it's also a struggle for me. Then that means that hat is just way too small and it might cause problems with customers so that's something that i just learned recently 
and I've had these hats for a while. So these are probably going to be like freebies, honestly. So in this box, I also have this tap and chip card reader through Shopify. So basically, they can use their card at the pop-up shop or whatever event you're a part of. So I, this wasn't one of my tips, but I guess it could be a nice tip. Have multiple ways for your customers to pay. Um, some people might not be comfortable using a card, so make sure you have change in order to give people change just in case they want to pay cash. But also, this is a very great tool. It works with your phone through the Shopify POS app. So they tap, they pay, they put their phone number in, they get their receipt. So it's very simple and easy, easy to set up and everything. So I definitely suggest this item. I don't remember if you have Shopify. I don't know what you can use if you don't have Shopify. Maybe like, um, what's the thing called? Starts with a Q. I'll put it on the screen if I remember. But um, what was I saying? I don't remember how much this cost, but it's probably maybe an updated version now. I don't know. This was the most updated version like a couple years ago. So this is definitely a good thing to have at your events. These are my keychains. These are freebies that I give out in every order. Everybody gets a keychain. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to do that at the event as well. And that's another tip. This tip number three, to offer freebies to your customers and to your audience. Freebies are good for you and the customer. The customer feels good that you have given them something for free, that you already value them as a customer. And for you, it gets your brand out there. You give them something with your brand name on it or something that relates to your brand. And now when somebody else sees that, they might ask about it or they might wonder what that is. And the customer will be able to explain to them that, oh, this is be dynamic. This is dynamic fashion. So that's creating buzz around your brand as well. My keychain is, let me show you. I don't know if I've shown y'all this before, but so my keychain is just this simple the flame arrow and the leaf change progress grow logo it can be something as simple as this um i got these made through sticker mule very great company the only thing if i could change these i don't know i think the way my logo is set up it's like really skinny right here so it tends to break which is bad but it's a freebie it's not supposed to be something that's amazing quality it's still good for your customers to have. Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G. God forbid. All right, so I got the hats done, figured out. Uh, Now it's time for this big box. And I know it's a lot of stuff in there, so let's go through that one. I love you want to get me a wagon for this event. I probably will in this vlog. Go pick one up. We'll see if that's in the budget for the event. I've chosen what brand I want to be the brand for, or what t-shirt brand I want to be the brand for Dynamic, my clothing. I love it. Great quality t-shirts. So these aren't it, but... These can still be sold. We got sweatshirts. I think we got a few hoodies in here. Got a random red hoodie. Probably be like a one of one type of thing designed for it. Red is really popular, so of course it'll probably sell most likely. Got a black hoodie, another black hoodie. XL. Now this brand, t-shirt brand is really good. Anvil. I got some gildens down here too, but I really like Anvil. I've gotten good reviews about Anvil. This is actually really good that I have all these different sizes. I don't want to use gildens, but I have them. So it'll save us some money and make us some money. So not that big of a deal. I have these windbreakers. I was supposed to like make a design for me and my boyfriend at one point and I just never did I probably won't use this in the um, for the event though because I still want to make something for this these jackets 
I'm hoping to have some random two X's up in here. I forgot I had these tank tops. That'll be great. Since it's the summertime, it's getting hot. I could definitely use these for something. Oh, we got a random 3X. I think the vendor gave me this as like a a sample. Just a random red crop sweatshirt. So I'll probably do something with that. Because I think I'm also going to put those pink, gray, and black crop sweaters I have. I think I'm also going to put those in the event as well. So might do something random with this. So this is all we have. Um, three hoodies, a couple of black sweatshirts, a lot of white shirts, um, a lot of, a few random tank tops. So this is just the blanks I have that if I want to create new designs, I can use this. Or new uh, designs that I already have, I can use this. I also have the sweatshirts that are already on the site. I have, uh, I think a couple hoodies that are already made so yeah i want to have like a mixture of hoodies sweatshirts hats and t-shirts like i know it's summertime so nobody's really wearing sweatshirts a lot but if you like it you're gonna buy it so i'm gonna give the people a chance to buy it so what i want to do i have a new design that i want to drop and this leads me to tip number four i think yeah tip number four test out new products at your events at pop-ups if they seem to be selling well or people seem to be asking about them um, at the event then that's probably one you should drop online or to the public so I do have a design that I want to test um, at this event to just see how it does I have a feeling it's gonna do very well I love it it's like a front and back um, I think I've shown you guys probably in a past vlog maybe I don't know but yeah I do want to test out um, a design at this event just to see how it works out before I'll just like spew all my money into creating this design for multiple products to put online so yeah test your products if you have something you, and you're just like I don't know if people are gonna like this try it make a few um, make a few in a few different sizes and see how people react to them at the event that's the perfect time that even if you just want to ask like hey what you think about this People will tell you what they think, so just ask and see. Try it. Well, honestly, this is probably all I'm about to do tonight. Tomorrow, I'm going to I'm going to figure out how many of this new design I want to test in order in transfers. I no longer want to do vinyl. I just I've had problems with vinyl peeling over time after washes. Like it looks good for a while, but once you wash it. A few times like a lot it starts to peel up and I just feel like sometimes t-shirts are something you want to keep forever so you don't want to have to deal with vinyl peeling up and things like that so transfers are the way I'm going right now um, they're cost-effective for me until I can figure out a screen printing situation but right now transfers are the way that I'm going so I'm going to just see how many transfers I need for this new design that I have and see what I want to test it out on like what products I want to test that out on and yeah so I'm gonna figure it out tomorrow and I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow okay y'all so I am back um my goal today is to just order a few transfers for the designs that I want to like try out and test at this event so i use super color their transfer company if you've never heard of them i've never had any problems um the transfers last forever the color is just amazing i have a shirt um that i did with them it's the dynamic memphis shirt i can show you guys what it looks like so this is the dynamic memphis shirt and this is what I did with the super color transfers. I've had literally no issues with this transfer peeling up. It's been washed a million times. Like the shirt I have, I wash it all the time because I wear it all the time. 
the transfer never peels it's it always looks like this just straight the color is very vibrant now when i first ordered from super color my first order the color was off but they said it was because of the way i sent the file and i think you have to send it in like a pdf or something so that the color can be how you see it on the screen but they were very gracious and nice enough to just send me a new order altogether. Like it was no issue. Um, so that company is good with me. Um, I definitely suggest them if you want to use transfers. So I got my computer here. I have my calculator here so that I can calculate cost of how much everything is going to be. And I also have to, uh, I'm going to cut out a sample with vinyl just to see how I like the sizing. I think I'm going to just go with it though because I feel like the sizing will be good. I trust my measurements so I think it'll be fine. And I'll let you guys see the designs because it's, it's not that big of a deal. Let me see. Maybe I can screen record so that you guys can see my screen and you're just not looking at me. Okay, so I don't have any space, so it's not letting me screen record, but I can still show y'all everything. So basically, this is the hoodie design that I want to test out at the event. This is also the design I want to drop maybe mid-June, so I want to test out a few of these as well. I really like these. I think they're going to do well. And I also want to get like some simple designs that just say dynamic, just like the hoodie to try out on t-shirts, different color t-shirts. <clears throat> and this page here is just my sizing. So for the transfers, you want to make sure that your design sizing is correct in the software that you're using. So I'm using Adobe Illustrator, so I have to make sure that the design sizing it co it's correct here based on what I want it to look like on the garment. So that's what this is. It's just all the designs. And I'm just making sure that the sizing is correct here on this document. Yeah, I love Mac. I swear I do. But this, this store stuff is just crazy, bro. Like, I literally have nothing on this computer. And I use an external hard drive. So I definitely have nothing on this computer. And like 285% of the gigs that's taken up on my computer are, is stuff I don't even know. Like it says other. Other taking up 85% of the space. That's stupid. That's just dumb. Okay, so I'm going to do the dynamic first. And the sizing for that. You see 11 by 4. So I'm just entering the size information here on super color. Um, so you can choose the size of the transfer and then you have to put the exact size of your actual design, name the design, tell what color garments is going on. I just put various cause there's so many colors that it could be going on. And then I have to enter the color of the actual transfer. So that's what I'm doing now. And as you can see for 10 transfers, it's $55, which isn't bad. And I think that's a good amount to just try out a design. You don't want to do too much and you don't even know how this design is going to do. I think that's a good, I, I'm coming up with tips on the fly that weren't even tips to begin with, but I think that's a very good tip. And I, it took me, I learned the hard way, basically. Um, start off minimal. Don't, don't buy too much if you're just getting started. The internet will make it look like you need so much inventory, which can be, you need inventory. Like if you plan to make, like if I'm planning to make $1,000 and I don't have $1,000 or more worth of inventory, that's a problem. Like I'm not going to make that money. But don't do too much. Like there's no reason for me to order 50 transfers right now because I don't even know if this design is going to do well. Um, so before you just dish out so much money for the transfers, test out that design first order a few like I'm just ordering 10 just to test it out see how it goes and then if it works out I'll order more later and make sure I keep that keep that in stock so you want to give them as much information as possible they ask for the color of the transfer so it's black but they also ask for the PMS color or the CMYK code so if I go into Illustrator and I click the color it literally gives me that information here. The CMY code is 75%, 68%, 67 So if I 
make this pink and then I type in what was this 75 you see how that color's changing and eventually when I put in the correct code I think it was 68 um, 67 as you can see that's getting darker and then I put in 90 it should be black it should be back to black and there's it's back to black as you can see it went back to black so like i told you in the beginning when i first started with super color i had a problem with the color of my transfer so doing these extra little steps just ensures that i won't have that problem again and i'm going to send it to them the way they asked for it so i won't have that problem again so that's that one i'm so excited to actually like see these transfers though okay y'all so i finally ordered my transfers everything's done um now i'm just gonna wait for those to come in in the middle of the week i'm probably gonna start a new video just preparing again for the actual event i wanted to give you guys the last two the last two tips so the next tip will be to research your event you want to make sure that whatever products you're bringing actually touches the the audience of that event so my event is more so african-american um it's going to be like a younger and older generation african-americans but because it's at this hangar outlet mall there's going to be different demographics there at the mall itself so my research was i know how I know what the demographics are for the mall, but I also had to figure out what the demographics were for the event and I just merged those together. So for me, I will be catering to really everybody in this instance. Usually it wouldn't be like that, but because it's at a mall, it's kind of different for me. But you want to research your event just to figure out who do they really target? Who do they usually attract? and that way you can figure out what products you want to bring to that event for their audience the last tip is to just be open so like i said last time i did a pop-up shop i wasn't very open and that was just me just not being there yet now i feel like i'm definitely more open than i used to be you want to be open about your brand you are the one who has to sell and build your brand as a whole you have to build that brand awareness you have to get it out there so you must speak to people you must be able to articulate what your brand is about articulate what you want your brand to be and don't be afraid to do it have some confidence in yourself and have some confidence in your brand if you know that you're doing something that's unique that's different that means something be confident have enough confidence to talk about it and to share it with others that's all the tips that i have for you guys i thank you guys so much for checking out this video um make sure you're here for the next one on the next one i will be actually pressing up some shirts so i can test out the designs that i want to test yeah so be on the lookout for that video as well if these tips were helpful for you guys, make sure that you comment down below and let me know. If you have any pop-up shop or event tips at all, make sure you put them below too. We're all growing. We're all trying to figure this thing out. So if you have anything that you would like to add, put it in the comment section below. But that's all I have for you guys. Some of your curls popping, you know, I never stop flavor squad. I'm out of here.